Time for another stock review. Let's see if we can make some money on this stock. We're going to be going over the numbers of AGNC Investment and studying this one with a fine tooth comb. Shall we get straight into it? AGNC is the ticker symbol and the name of the company, AGNC Investment. If it's your very first time here, consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, this was requested by one of our members. If you're a member of our channel, you can just bid $1 for a full review and I'll put it out and do it live in a show, then put it out as a video and it will promote the stock. Very often I rank number one for the stocks and you can get this service just for a dollar if you are a member. Pretty good, right? Okay, let's get straight into it. What is AGNC? If you all tap the like button in this review, I'm going to share with you the inside trading, who's buying, who's selling, the intrinsic value, the balance sheet, the profit, the loss. I'm also going to share with you um, some latest information, share with you their website, how it looks and feels, uh, some news on the stock, looking at the, the earnings. We just had a miss, uh, how it compares to the S&P 500, the dividend payment, of course, there's dividends here as well. All of that is coming up in this most honest review you've ever seen. Nobody from the company pay or sponsor me to make these, these videos. If it's rubbish, I'll say it's rubbish. If it's great, I'll say it's great. And I only own the SNP. I'm not on YouTube as a YouTuber. In fact, I'm the world piano man. I've taught all around the world as an entertainer. I'm here to help people. My channel is not about gaining subscribers and getting you to watch. I couldn't care less. I hope you do. I'd like to grow my channel. But honestly, I'm about helping people. That's it. I like to entertain and see everybody say, hey, this is great. I'm making money and I'm enjoying the show. Then job done. My wife says, you've done a good thing today. That's it. Right. What is AGNC? Let's go straight into it. And uh, if you've now decided to tap the like button or subscribe, that would be great. If not, that's fine too. I don't mind either way. Okay, let's look at the overall chart. Now, as you can see, uh, since uh, since around about, well, 2008, we've been trending down. So for a quite a while now, we've been trending down. But remember, a stock like this earns a dividend, and we'll see how much that dividend is in a minute and whether it's worth it. Uh, a stocks that pay a really high dividend can be uh, trending down, but overall, you can make it Depends if you want a passive income or not, and you're able to take uh, advantage of a tax-free income. That's what I'm aiming to get my child to a million dollars, where I'll earn um, a passive income tax-free for free. Like that idea? Well, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so AGNC is down 48% over time. Over the last year, it's up 5.4 over the last uh, year, 1% as a year to date, I beg your pardon. Three months, 12%, 4% uh, over the last month, week is down 1.42, and today we're pretty much flat. Okay, there's a basic, uh, in basic information. What is AGNC? It's an investment corporation. It operates in real estate, real estate investment trust. Uh, its investments include other types of mortgages and mortgage-related uh, residential and commercial mortgage. Back securities where repayment of principal and interest is not guaranteed by GSC or United States government agency. Show more. Yes, please. The company was founded in January 7, 2008. Uh, it's an interesting time to come into the market and is headquartered in MD, uh, Beth Bethesda. Uh, the listed name is AGNC. Uh, the CEO, Peter J. Federico. Lovely to ha love to have you on the show. We have a Meet the CEO series. I've met CEOs from uh, uh, Wall Street um, uh, publicly traded companies, uh, in many in the past, and more planned for the future. If you'd like to be on my show, you can be on your show in my on my show, talking to the world and sharing information about your business. It's an open conversation, unscripted. I will never message you and try to sell you my services. It'll come from your investors, my viewers. They will message you uh, on the investor relations pages, your website, and let you know about my services. If anyone's watching right now and you want the, the CEO on the show uh, and you want to know more about the company, email investor relations, tell them about my channel and uh, build up a relationship. You can, you can uh, copy me in if you want to, martin at martinlucas.com. When you've done that, and they're interested, let me know, and hopefully we'll get them on the show. 53 employees, Maryland, 2008, 25% margin. If you're buying on margin, it's the lowest risk you could get. 
Doesn't mean there's no risk at all. 7.54 billion market cap, 52 week high um, is 1064, 52 week low is 681, trending down. Dividend yield 14%. Now then, a dividend like that is only good if it pays out all the time, increases all the time, and uh, the depreciation of the value of the stock isn't too great. But on a principle, it sounds great. I will tell you, this is not one that I would ever buy. Uh, I wouldn't do this sort of thing. Uh, it's not for me. Rights are designed for people who've made lots of money. They're wealthy individuals or whatever. And they're now uh, moving into rights for a passive income. And if you do it properly through a trust or whatever, you can get a tax-free income. It's not for a growth stock. It's not when you're younger. It's when you've made your money and you've got a large portfolio and you're now earning money uh, passively uh, with a portfolio that can decrease over time. Doesn't matter. Your income is now being achieved by the dividends. That's what this stock is about. So if you're you know, 20 years of age and you want to grow a stock, this isn't, this isn't the one. You might want it in in, uh, in 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 like maybe ten percent of your portfolio, perhaps, but uh, you, you're not looking to have this as your main position, are you? Okay, uh, what do people think about this? Uh, Global Star, uh, I don't like. They're paid to say these things. They're saying it's a it's a buy at sixty percent, hold is forty percent. No one's selling it. No one sells this sort of stock. Like I said, end of life. It's when you're 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. You're just holding and earning an income. That's all this is. But it continually beats on earnings, even though it's trending down. However. We've just missed on earnings for the first time in years. So we want to know why it presents opportunity, perhaps, but it's uh, pretty much on trend with the uh, with the sort of trajectory. It may not be that big a deal, but it's worth noting. All right. OK, who else buys the stock so you know how it trades? Uh, Annual Capital, Realty Income. That's one of my favorites if you're in this sector. Prospect Capital, Armour, Orchid and, uh, and, and Rhythm. Now, it's worth mentioning no rubbishy stocks in there, no scam stocks like Mullen or anything like that, FFIE, rubbish stocks out of cult followings, which means silly money, immature money, nonsense money, cult following money isn't in here. So you don't have that silly volatility. This is for people with money, who understand money, who just want to hold and earn passive income. No one's trading this, messing around with it, spoiling it. So you're not getting any meme stop craze with this. It just wouldn't uh, drag in that sort of crowd. That they, 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 They've got their place and it's not here, which is good to know, right? Anyway, uh, smash the like button uh, if you like this and subscribe and ring the bell if you like it so far. Okay, let's, uh, what should we look at first? Uh, shall we go and look at, at the money, how much money we can make on this? If the money stacks up, first of all, on the dividends. Let's have a look if we can make money on dividends. So let's go and have a look. So uh, we'll go back as far as 2012 and uh, what we're looking for, April, May, June, July. Okay, it pays quarterly, quarterly. Uh, and let's see, does it pay every month and does it increase? 125, 125, 125, 105, 80, 65. Okay, it's gone down. It's gone down. We're in 2014 now, 22, 22, 22. We're looking for some, st we're looking for some stability. We need stability and we don't want to miss. 2022, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2018, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. We're now in 2018, 18, 18. Stabilize. Oh, no, it hasn't. 16, 16, 16, 16, 12, 12, 12, 20, 2020, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. All the way down. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. We're now in, in, in 2022. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. 24, 12, right, okay, rubbish, not uh, not good, we don't want that, um, remember, when I review stocks, I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, influenced at all, I'm not a YouTuber trying to get you to watch and subscribe, or, or I'm paid by anyone to say it, I tell you the truth, that is rubbish, um, there's no point owning this stock, before I even carry on, if you've got a stock that's depreciating in value on its growth, and it's consistently going down in dividends, it's not doing anything, doesn't perform, doesn't perform. It's rubbish. There's no point. Uh, now, admittedly, admittedly, you could say, well, it's still the percent the same, 
but the, the but the percent if the if the stock is declining so much the percentage comes down it, it, regardless i mean they've paid it but it's uh, they're not increasing the payment the point is you should increase the dividend if you've got no growth or at least stay the same I mean, in their credit, they didn't miss any, but there's better opportunities out there. So straight away, no, rubbish. I wouldn't buy it. You might want to switch off at this point. And now I've just lost everybody watching my video. It doesn't matter. It's not about that. It's about giving the honest information, not about getting you to the end of the video as much as I would like you to do so. Right, let's carry on and look how it compares to the S&P. You've got to do that. If you put money in 2015 in the S&P, uh, 10 grand, you've got 3x, 31. Uh, on uh, on this, 10 grand, and this is reinvesting dividends, remember? 10 grand, you've now got 13,000. So you've only made three grand over that period. No point. The S&P is trending up here. Uh, what we've got here is uh, is our AGNC in green, as you can see, underperforming. But what's really re a, re a real worry no surprise here with property, uh, it had a bigger drop through uh, macro conditions, COVID. So it's an underperformer through macro conditions. Some stocks do well uh, for macro condition like Zoom, Carvana, everybody started buying, you know, Zoom and all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't have a macro condition positive reaction. It has negative. So if we get a negative situation and war breaks out or anything like that, a pandemic, it's negatively impacted. So it underperforms the S&P. So, so far, this is absolutely not a buy from me. Um, anyway, let's carry on. We've got some latest news here. Just out, uh, um, AGNC meets Q2 earnings estimates. Uh, let's read this here. AGNC uh, came out with a quarterly earnings of 53 per share in line with Zach's census estimate, that's really trying to hide the news, really. It actually missed on earnings. Uh, the earnings was estimated 54. They actually made 53. I'm not making this up. It depends who you ask, and they've asked somebody that wants to make it look better than it really is. So what we've got here is manipulation as well. Um, when you get C when you get manipulation on stocks, I also don't like that. SoFi. The CEO always makes up rubbish to get you to buy the stock. That's another red flag. 54 cents estimate, actual uh, uh, 53. Um, so there you go. It missed on earnings. It didn't do It didn't do great. They're trying to make it sound better than it really is. Uh, but there you go. That's what happens. This compares to earnings of 67 per share a year ago. So it was down from a year ago, but it's also down. It also missed earnings as well. A quarter ago, it was expected that the Real Estate Investment Trust would post earnings of 56 per share when it actually produced earnings of 58, uh, delivering a surprise of 3.57. Yes, but actually from three months ago, what we actually did three months later was down. We're trying to find the good here. So uh, that's not good. I'm not going to read any more of that because I don't like that kind of manipulation. Uh, so we don't even like to report on that because uh, the reality is it's not uh, it's not as amazing as they want it to appear. The website, well, some websites it's worth showing you. This one is not that much to say other than read out its statement. We are internally managed mortgage right, but with the, built with the objective of generating favorable long-term stockholder returns with a substantial yield component through leveraged investments in agency residential mortgage-backed securities. Okay, but at the end of the day, uh, they're not doing great. Now, of course, when interest rates come down, this company could start to do well, of course. So you could regard it as a time to buy uh, now because interest rates are going to go, uh, come down. This sort of company will do well on that. All right. Okay. Let's carry on with our review and let me uh, shut that down. I've got that back to where I need it. Um, I'm making this during a live video, so I like to keep on top of uh, what I'm doing. Right. Now then, let's have a look at the numbers. Do the numbers add up? If you like this review so far, one thing it is, is honest and real. I'm not here to sell the video or get you to uh, buy a stock as clearly demonstrated. Right. Okay. Now then, it's 1025, but if we look at the intrinsic value, it would suggest it's undervalued that worth $33. A lot of people will look at that and go, great, I'm buying it then. It's undervalued. Interest rate's coming down. It's going to go up. However, it uh, is based only uh, on multiples and doesn't use DC evaluation as it's not available. So this is unreliable. We cannot use this as a reliable benchmark. Sounds great. You think, oh, I'm going to buy it. 
but I, I would uh, not recommend you rushing out to buy it on that. Let's look further on. Okay. What about revenue? Revenue was up 32%. That sounds great. However, now we're expecting it to fall away. So be, don't be running to the, uh, the cash register just yet. It's uh, up 32%, but expecting it to fall away. Now you can see, then we're expecting when interest rates start uh, coming down to stabilize. So if you do like passive income and you, you've got a, a large growth position already, you might like this now, not for what it was, but where it's going. I don't like it from, from all the things I've seen so far, but interest rates coming down, stabilizing, it could be coming to a good time. Um, however, we've seen the... Um, uh, the, the the passive income drop because it's a percentage, which is a good percentage. But when the price falls so much, the um, the uh, dividend falls too, e even if it's the same percentage, right? Anyway, whatever. Operating income uh, is up 383%. Uh, that's good from a disaster earlier back in 22. Expecting that to rise and then flatten off. So maybe there's some growth right now with the rates coming down. Uh, net income, 1,853%. That's a, a, a good improvement from where we've been. Again, expecting the stock to rise and considering it was worse along uh, back in 22 and the price was higher, maybe now again, this could be a consideration. I started off by saying rubbish, don't like it. And now I'm warming to it thinking, hmm, maybe the stock is rubbish right now, which is why it's a good time to buy it. Okay, maybe. Right, let's scroll down. Financing cash flow up 21%. Investing cash flow up 13%, which is a negative. And operating cash flow is negative 118 million. That's not good, is it? Right, what we got here? 71.9%, sorry, 71.9 billion in assets and uh, half a million of that is in cash. I like business to hold cash, but not too much. Uh, cash should be working for you, not just sitting there. You're not Apple. You don't have money just sitting around doing nothing. Uh, you're a smaller business. You want your business to be, your, your cash to be deployed and working. So it's got some cash, which is good, but I don't like the liabilities. Let's have a little look. 63. Uh, Short-term debt, 50 billion. It's added a lot of money to its debt. 76 million long-term debt, 50 billion short-term debt. So... That's a huge part. 78% of its balance sheet liabilities is debt. Uh -uh, don't like that. But that's, a, that's the nature of its business, remember? It's mortgages. Nature of its business. So it's not like a, a normal business with a lot of debt. This is a business about debt and, and, and so on and so forth. So it has a lot of debt. Is it manageable? Now, the question is, when, when interest rates come down, less delinquencies, less people failing on the mortgages, which is good. They can make more money, of course, because when rates come down, more people want a mortgage uh, and you can make more profits because you can absorb part of the, 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 the reduction and keep some of it and pass some of it on. That's what banks do, let's be honest. They don't, it, rates don't go down and they just give it back to you, right? They just make more money. You save a bit, they save a lot. Okay, so that's got some potential there. So we can be forgiven for having a huge amount of debt because that's what this business is, right? Okay, gross margin, 25%, uh, operating margin, 22%, net income, 19%, FCF margin, negative 4%, ROCE, 4%, ROIC, 1%, uh, ROA, uh, 1%, and uh, ROE, 8%. Okay. Profitability. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so profitability, 49%. Well, obviously, if, when rates come down, that's that's quite good, but that'll also increase. But look at that. Solvency score, 8%. That is the lowest solvency score I have ever seen. The lowest solvency score ever in three years that I've done the show. I have never seen a solvency score as low as that. 8%. Bloody hell. Bearing in mind, though, it is a business that lends money out. So essentially, that is expected, all right? So basically, uh, if everyone didn't pay their mortgages to this company, the, the company would go bust. Well, that's no surprise, really. It lends money out. Remember, banks don't have any money. They lend out your money 10 times. Remember that. So it's important. So it's got a lot of debt. Solvency, 
is low. Um, uh, banks and stuff like this are always a risky play. I don't, I don't like banks with more, with more uh, regulation coming in. But this is all about whether you like the interest rates coming down. Uh, this will, as I say, uh, produce less delinquents, delinquent loans, less uh, and uh, and potentially more profit as well. Okay, so. Uh, what do Wall Street say? Well, they're saying 11% downside, worst case scenario, 1% downside average, 8% upside at the best. It's a no-no. Even though I was warming slightly, it's a no. If at best case scenario, you make 8%, just buy the S&P. S&P could rally 30% this year and be a 3x by the end of the decade. At worst scenario, 10%. Well, why would you bother? Is there any sense of this? There isn't. There's better opportunities out there. All right. Simple as that. If you want to compare to the competition, there are a few competitions, Starwood, Property, Rhythm, uh, Hannon, all of these you can look at. This software that I'm using, my members can use it all for free. Uh, you can get a, a free plan or a premium plan. If you get a premium plan, it essentially uh, the discount you get makes my membership for free. I offer the best deals, better than CNBC, better than Bloomberg. I know the CEO. Uh, so you get a, a great deal with me. Okay. So if you want this, uh, become a member and the link for Alpha Spread is below in the description or above my head in the little links uh, or click more when you look at the description and you'll find my website, martinlucas.com. Go to the links page, scroll down Alpha Spread or find the Alpha Spread link in the de description itself. Right, insiders, they've been selling the stock. No one been buying it. That's another bad sign. Insiders selling. Uh -uh. We don't like this. Short interest. Oh dear. A short interest on a stock like this it's not massive, but there's it's no short squeeze going to come. This stock would never do that. But there are people that are shorting a right. That's very unusual to short this. So even uh, to add to the pain, people are shorting the stock. Not massively. 20% is excessive, but it's quite a lot. Nevertheless, you think about Apple, half a percent, 6.7%. It's quite high. Okay, let's have a look. Five months ago, that's not relevant. So we don't need that. Um, that's about it. So let me give, my, give you my th uh, final thoughts on AGNC. Even though I started off by saying rubbish, 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 uh, not looking good, not looking good, I warmed up a little bit to considering that rates can come down. But then I just look at other alternatives and you can do the same using my software uh, and your like realty income, you'll find better ones. I don't think this is great. However, if you like a stock that's down uh, with interest rates coming down, you might consider this one. Uh, I don't see much point. Um, there's better opportunities out there, but there you go. There's my thoughts on it. Click above my head for all the links or below in the description. Click more and you'll see all the links that are above my head if you don't know how to get above my head. Click below in the description. You'll find Alpha Spread, all the links, martinlucas.com for the links there as well. Over here, I'll put the full uh, Alpha Spread playlist. I've reviewed nearly 200 stocks now um, and uh, that's going to increase to nearly 400 over the next year. Go over here uh, for all my reviews. They're honest. They're real. I'm only in the s and I'm not promoting stocks. I'm just telling you how it is. Down here, you'll see uh, a playlist for AGNC. I'll open up one just for AGNC. And you can go and check that out. If you join Sensei on Sunday, look on the homepage of the channel, the Sensei Sunday Show. He'll do a technical chart for you if you're a member. How about that? Extra benefits, extra perks. Until then, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.